In this demo, we're going to explore how crew time entry and field service interact. I have an appointment started here for ABC Studios, and I have assigned four people to work on this particular project. Uh, two of these are in a work group we call Construction Crew. Uh, Steve is going to be added as an ad hoc member of that crew, and Maxwell Baker's time will fall through to his own employee time card, so he will bypass the crew time entry, at least for this demo. We start the appointment. Upon start of the appointment, we are presented with a set of time entries for our logged employees. For Maxwell, we're going to leave the work group blank. For Steve, for Alex, and for Hannah, we're going to identify them as part of the construction crew uh, as we enter time for them. We add our duration. This, of course, could be uh, entered as a duration like I'm doing, or uh, I can come in and enter the date and time. We complete those lines. And then we would complete the appointment as normal. The appointment is completed. Now let's go see our entries in time entry. First off, we're going to look at Maxwell Baker. Maxwell had eight hours entered for appointment 6460, and here is the eight hours on his personal employee timesheet. For the crew time entry, we open up the weekly two crew time entry window, select the construction crew, and select the appropriate week of the year. And now we see the time entries from the appointment, 6460, uh, on the crew time entry. And if we look at crew members here, we'll see that Steve Church has been added as an ad hoc crew member, whereas Hannah and Alex are already permanently part of that crew. Uh, 